want to demonstrate to you the installation of GNU Health, the free health and hospital information system. There is a so-called live CD of this uh, system, which allows you to put it, for example, on a USB stick, on a DVD, or to run it in a virtual environment. I want to demonstrate the installation on a virtual environment using GNU Health 3.0 and the version based on the SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 12, Service Pack 1. So what do you need? First of all, you need to download the uh, respective version that you want to use. In this case, I want to use the virtual environment and I can download it here. The links to download will be presented later. So I've already finished the download and I can open the file in the archiver. What I get are a couple of files which I unpack to the folder where I usually store my virtual box, virtual machines. So while it is unpacking I can already enter the VirtualBox management console and create a new VM. So let's give it a name first, SLES 12 SP1 GNU Health Health oh, Sticky fingers today 3.0 and VirtualBox already recognizes that this is a 64-bit OpenSUSE system. So next we need to define the size of the main memory. Let's keep it with the default 768 uh, megabytes. That's not too much, but we can always uh, give it more later. Next step would be to create a hard disk or to use a hard disk within this virtual machine. And we are will use an existing hard disk. So I click the button. In my folder VirtualBox VMs, I have one subfolder where I just extracted the virtual image that I've created. And I hit Create. And that's it, basically. In order to allow an outside system to connect to this machine, we need to uh, change the uh, network setting slightly. So by default, uh, the connection of the virtual machine to the outside world is via network address translation. But what we need to have is the connection directly to the outside router or network. So we need a so-called bridge network. And we need to connect it to the network connection uh, that's currently in use. So with my laptop I'm connected with uh, wireless LAN to my router so I choose uh, the WLAN 0 connection. So now I can start the machine and while it does that I clean up here a little bit. So once the machine is booted we have various options to connect to the server. One option is that we use a native Triton client. This is this one here. Or the other option that we have is that we use uh, a web client. So since uh, 3.8 Triton uh, delivers SAO, this is the web front end for the Triton environment. So let's see how the machine is doing. Okay, it asks us to connect to the or to, to agree to the license agreements. That's done, fine. So in theory we would already be ready. Uh, if you have a network with a DDNS or a dynamic name resolution, you would see this machine now as SLES minus GNU Health. Um, as I have a standard router over here, it doesn't have a proper DDNS, so I need to know what the IP address of this machine is. So I need to log in, and I do this with the user GNU Health. Password is GNU Health as well. So that's it. So now I need to check for spin if config. 
to see what my network address is. And for the port Ethernet 0, this is the local Ethernet connection of the machine, I have 192.168.178.46. So, I can enter this here in the host destination, port 8000, the database is GNU Health 30, username is admin, password is GNU Solidario. So, let's connect to the GNU Health machine and see we have already the GNU Health machine up and running. So that was the connection possibility with the native client. Now let's use the web client. So I'm connecting to 192.168.178.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.168.